Hey everybody, welcome back to My Wings of Refuge. I'm so excited today because if you remember last week we talked about something new coming to the Dykstra Homestead and today we're going to talk about that. Actually we're going to prepare for that and so we actually have rabbits, meat rabbits coming to the farm and so um I actually had the guy who built my chicken coop come to build this um, the framework for me and we're going to get it painted. You cannot help me paint. You're not helping me at all. That is not for you. You silly girl. What are you doing? My KW cages have come in. That's what this is here. And we're going to get those assembled. So I know when... Uh, I did a lot of research and um, this is the cage system that we decided to go with and I'm really excited about it because they go together really easy. All you need is some scissors to cut these straps and it comes with these pieces that will go around the door edges to so you don't hurt yourself um, or snag anything and it comes with cage clips which are like uh, J hooks, J clips, and so what you will need to purchase if you don't have them already is the uh, tool that puts those clips on, the J clip tool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut these straps. So if you go to KW Cages, you'll see there's actually a couple of different designs that you can go with. Now they are really also uh, easy to work with, the people, because I actually contacted them because I didn't want really larger holes. Um, I wanted to keep all of these holes in this wiring the same size because, okay, we have a lot of snakes here in the summertime and I didn't want to take a chance of a snake being able to get through one of the larger holes. So they were totally accommodating. They were able to make this all the way I asked them to. So that is that is great to know that they're willing to do that. Okay, so um, the cages that we have is two hooked together with one divider. So we're going to set up each end piece and then connect them. This small piece will be the divider and we're not going to need it for a little bit. So I'm just going to set it aside. Okay, so this is basically one piece and it all unfolds. Just want to make sure that the door is on the outside. Okay, so here we go. So now for these two sides, all we need to do is use our J clips. And they can be a little tricky for some people, so I really wanted to show you how I do that. So this here is a J hook. It looks just like a J. Push the handles out. Okay, so we're going to push our handle out so it goes in just like this. And then you can kind of grip it. Whoops. 
there's your J-hook. Get in there, this, and we're gonna go one, two, and then we're gonna do this one. So I'm going to hook this around, make sure it goes around both of those wires and just squeeze really tight. Got it? One, two, hook our J and squeeze. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this section here. And again, you can put them as far apart as you want. The directions actually say every four inches. Then I like to hook one at the very bottom just to give it a little extra strength. This will be our open end here. So now we're ready to do the other side. I just like to start at the top. So just like that, we have three sides. This is the front, the end, the back, the bottom, and the divider will go in after we do the other half. So we're gonna do the other half that looks just like this. So before we call this done, we're just going to open the door and we're going to install these pieces. Um, you probably could put them on either way, but one side's a little bit flatter than the other. So I'm just putting the flat side on the inside. They literally just snap right in. And then your door is done. So here I have the two pieces and the middle section that I'm just going to lay in here and I'm going to do each side together. So instead of getting two of those bars, we're going to put three in here. one in then allows you to hold everything together. I just want to make sure you can see I have three bars in the one J clip together. Our divider is in and now we're going to flip this over so that we can connect it on the bottom. ready to flip this back over and put on the tops. Alrighty.
this cage is built. Now I've got to turn it up and get it out. <laughs> That'll be the hardest part. These came highly recommended by lots of uh, rabbit friends and so far they have uh, been easy to put together. They seem nice and sturdy and I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. So here we have our first four cages all set up inside of our hutch. And so now I'll get the bottom ones, tend to them and be getting all of our accessories and our nesting boxes and everything ready so we can go get our babies. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and have a great week. Y'all stay tuned because those little bunnies will be here before you know it and we still have a lot of work to do.